On my desk today is a Serbo GX, and we're going to show you how to connect it to VRM. Getting started, the Serbo is powered from a battery. I just happen to have one of these SOK rack mount batteries sitting on the floor next to my desk. Use it all the time, super convenient, but this can be from any source, whether it's 12 volts, 24, or 48 volts. You essentially can go 8 to 70 volts on the input to the Serbo GX. So that was step one, making sure that it has power. Now in this video, I'm using the screen because it's a heck of a lot more convenient. However, if you didn't have the screen, you can follow the video that we linked to in the card in the top corner right now. It'll show you how to connect to this and remote control it with your cell phone. But either way, yeah, using the screen today and I'm using a hardwired ethernet connection. So this is connected to my local network and I'm gonna plug this into the ethernet port on the Serbo GX. So first thing we need to do is get our VRM ID from the Serbo GX. So I don't have any devices connected, that's why you don't see anything on here. But I'm going to go into the menu under settings and then go down to this VRM online portal option. This ID here is unique, so you'll want to take note of yours. That's the VRM portal ID. And yeah, it shouldn't take much more. Now, if you do want to do the remote console where you look at this screen through VRM, you're going to want to turn on two-way communication. And if I go back into the settings under remote console, you're going to want to check this enable on VRM option. And I highly recommend setting a password for this just for security purposes. And if you're turning this on for the first time, you're going to want to reboot the Serbo GX by power cycling it. So I'm going to just unplug the power cord and plug it back in and wait for this to boot up. Now on my computer, I have went to the VictronEnergy.com website and I'm going to click on this login button in the top right corner and then click on the VRM drop down. Now if you don't already have a VRM account, you're going to want to click on this register for free button. It's just going to ask for some simple information such as your name, email address, phone number, city, country, dealer, password, and password confirmation. You'll fill this in and then click register. Now in my case, I already have an account with plenty of systems, but the main thing that matters here that will look exactly the same for you is this big blue add installation button. Click on that button, and in our case, we're using a Serbo GX. So we're gonna click on that, and then it will have the VRM portal ID. So in our case, we're gonna type in the ID we got from the screen, and we can name this as VRM demo just for you guys. And then you're gonna click on this request access. Now, if you're the first one to try accessing this Serbo, um, it's not actually gonna send a request, it's just going to give you access. So you see you got this green success box down here at the bottom. Now we can see what's going on on this uh, Serbo GX. Now I don't have any devices connected, otherwise it would show here. Um, but yeah, if you already have this added, when you click request access, it's going to send an email to the owner that already registered the Serbo saying that you'd like to have access. And they just would click grant or deny, and then you'd have access from there. Now, since I enabled remote console, I can click on this tab here on the left, and it's going to connect to the remote console. Now, I didn't set a password, so if you set a password, you'll want to type it in there. And now you can see the VRM online portal, and we have all of our arrows to control it. And you can also click in the um, box here on the left. And you can see here, as I interact with it on the screen, if I hit the menu button, you can see the changes in real time on the actual Serbo GX. So it's kind of cool. But yeah, that is essentially how to set up VRM online and uh, remote console through VRM. So I hope that helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for choosing Current Connected and let us know if you have any questions.